All right, guys, so when you got this packet today and you broke it apart, you had this paper and you had this one right behind it, as well as a couple afterwards. So here's what's going on today. I want to go to the store and I brought with me this amazing shopping list with all these really cool gadgets and gizmos and toys that I want to buy. But I have a problem. And here's that problem. When I looked inside my wallet, I didn't bring any coins. The only thing that was in there was a bunch of $5 bills. And when I look at my things that I want to buy, some of them don't cost that much. Like if I look at the Chalkbox Kid Book, it's only going to cost me $2.49. If I'm giving the cashier a $5 bill, I'm giving them way too much money. I should be getting some back as change. So here's what your job is today. Your job is to figure out how much money I get back for giving them $5 for each of these items. So let's take a look at what you're going to be doing today. The first thing we want to look at, and I'm going to do this one together, is you got your shopping list here. You notice that each item is numbered. And item number one is the Mickey Mouse plastic ears, and they cost $4.39. So I'm looking at item number one, which is the Mickey Mouse plastic ears, and I'm going to look right on this chart, and it says the price. We're going to worry about the change later, because we're going to find that today. But right now what I want to do is I want to look at item number one, which is the Mickey Mouse plastic ears, and I'm going to write in the price of those ears, which if I look up here is $4 and 39 cents. So now I've written down the price of those ears, and I'm going to pay the cashier $5 for those ears that only cost me $4.39. So let's find out how much money Mr. Zortman should be getting back. You're going to want to turn to this page that looks just like this. And we're on item number one, so here's how we're going to do it. We know that item number one, our plastic ears, cost $4.39. But Mr. Zortman's going to pay with a $5 bill. So I want to find the difference between my $5 and the $4.39 that it costs. So I'm going to take my $5 and subtract $4.39 because that's the price of what I'm paying for. If I do this right, I should find out the difference between what I paid and what it cost, which be, should be how much money I get back. So let's take a look at this. I always want to start in my ones place value, and I know that if I have zero, I can't take nine away. So I'm going to need to borrow to get this number bigger. So I'm going to go next door, but there's nothing there to borrow. So I need to go even further to borrow to bring something to the tens category. And I can go and I can go get one group of hundreds and turn that into only four now. And now I actually have ten groups of ten. So now I've got four groups of hundreds, ten groups of tens, but I still have no ones. So I've got to go somewhere and get a little bit more so I can get 10 more ones to subtract here. And I can go over right here to the tens and I can take one group of those tens away, which leaves me with only nine of them. And I can bring that group of 10 ones over to the ones place value. So now I've got 10 ones minus nine ones, which gives me an answer of only one one left over. Now I can go to my tens and I've got nine groups of ten and I want to take three groups of ten away. That gives me six more tens left over. Then I notice I've got my decimal points. Those are going to stay in the exact same spot, so I'm just going to drop that decimal point right down there so I can keep it as a place saver. And the last category I have is four hundreds minus four hundreds. Well, we know that anything minus itself leaves us with nothing left, so we have zero in the dollars category. Don't forget your dollar sign. So Mr. Zortman paid with five dollars. It only cost him four dollars thirty-nine cents, so he should be getting back zero dollars and sixty-one cents. So we found out that Mr. Zortman's change should be sixty-one cents. Your last step now that you've done all the work over here is to tell me the answer over here. Item number one, the Mickey Mouse plastic ears, cost four dollars and thirty-nine cents, and the change that I should be getting back is zero dollars and sixty one cents. You guys are going to do awesome. It's your job today to figure out how much change I should get for all of these items if I pay with this five dollar bill. Do awesome guys. You're going to do great.